Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to First Responders Park. City of El Centro paid tribute to police, firefighters, and emergency services workers during a recent park naming ceremony. Today we did the groundbreaking for the First Responders Park along with the Michael Benavides Memorial Playground. The crowd represented community and multiple law enforcement agencies. We're opening a park not only to commemorate the fallen first responders that have given everything to service our community, but also to recognize every single man and woman who puts on a uniform to serve their community on a daily basis. And city officials were pleased to see a strong turnout for the ceremony. It shows that our initiatives for Measure P that were voted by the people are being appreciated because this park, the only reason it has come to fruition is because of those Measure P funds. And we promised the community that we would build capital improvements and that's what we're doing. The new park is being built on an empty three-acre lot next to Old Central Fire Station Number 3 at North Waterman Avenue. It will have a 14-space parking area and it will be the first park in the county to be ADA friendly. Our playground equipment was specifically chosen to be all-inclusive. We have handicap ramps and we also have playground equipment that will accommodate wheelchairs. It is the first park that has that. I see parks playing a vital role as it relates to intervention in our public safety arena. I see parks playing a vital role to addressing the public health issues that we have in our communities. I see the parks also playing a vital role as it relates to the environment. Two million dollars invested to renovate the lot, which will have two playgrounds, one for children under five years of age and the other for older kids. The park will also feature exercise equipment and a boshi ball area. We do a lot of things in the city council. We do a lot of things regarding budget, regarding taxation, regarding water fees, sewage fees, all of that. It's projects like this that really brings our attention to why we serve our community. The park is on the fast track with designing and engineering done in-house. Because if we did not renovate this piece of land into a park, we would have lost it to the state of California. We started talking about building this park in March and we expect it to be done by early 2020. That is a tremendous amount of work and we're gonna be able to get this done in a timeline that is normally not seen in cities. The park will be ready for families and community early next year. City officials and community are very proud of this new park, which will be completely ADA compliant. For more information, please go to the El Centro City website. For RD Media, I'm Roy Dorantes.